Welcome back, and um, now I'm going to use um, uh, NetBeans in order to demonstrate about string functions inside C. So we're going to create a new project again, and this one is C++. Please click on um, um, C++, C or C++ application. Make sure this one is C application, and I'm going to name this one is string functions. Okay, finish. Okay. So this one inside says source for main the string function. Um, there are several the string functions that we um, would like to work with. Okay, um, the string functions. And um, one special point is string functions are provided from string of h header file. So you need to include it inside here. So you need to um, include this one, which is um, string includes. Okay, includes. String dot h in, into our file in order to use string function, and that there are several of the string function I would like to uh, demonstrate. The first one is string cut. Okay, it's going to con concatenate string one with string two, and this one the result is stored inside string number one means it's going to modify the string number one. Um, uh, another one is the string um, compare. It's going to compare between string number one and string number two. This one is going to um, um, return the result um, which is uh, um, smaller than zero if string one is smaller than string two. It's going to return some um, um, result which is equal to zero if string one is equal to string two. Um, it's going to result um, something which is greater than zero if string one is smaller than, um, sorry, is greater than string two. Um, we can um, have another method which is string um, copy, okay, string copy, um, which is used to copy um, um, uh, string two into string one. Okay, it's gonna copy string two into string one. It's gonna override the result into string one. Okay, uh, then um, another one which is string length. Okay, this one is to give the length of the string, of course. So we're going to start with the first one, which is um, string cut, string one, and string two. Okay, string cut, string one, and string two. So I'm gonna have two string, okay, character, um, first names. Okay, first name. This one is ten characters, and this one is equal to um, John. And I'm gonna have characters last name. Okay. Doll. Let's just make it okay, and I would like to um I would like to declare um, characters which is this uh, phone name is about twenty characters okay it's about twenty characters then now I I would like to uh, copy the string John's into phone name there so I want to use string copy okay it's gonna copy from um, it's gonna copy from first name into okay um, it's gonna copy uh, first name into full name there and override the full name values okay this one first name into full name so uh, override the result into full name so after this line of code um, the full name now is the same as first name which is John and this one I need to initialize it with a string okay then um, after copying it uh, I may not need to okay after um, copying it then I'm going to um, do a string cut and I'm going to concatenate um, to our full name a space okay this one is a space because after first name after John I need a space something like this okay I need a space so let me just so far the, the so far so far your full name is now John now I need a sorry John now I need a space that where I, I um, a string cut so I'm gonna I, I, I'm, I'm concatenating this space into the full name so full name right now is this one and a space full name is now this one and a space then then after that I'm gonna um, do another string cut okay I want to do a string cut I'm going to concatenate the um, I'm going to concatenate the um, how to say um, I'm gonna concatenate um, to full name the last name there okay full name the last name there so after this is gonna be something like John a space then last name is Dell okay it's gonna be like this okay and the result is going to be um, stored into full name here and right now we're going to just try to print F okay the full name is this one is a string 
then um, we're gonna create a new line here then we're gonna put here phone names okay. so if you execute this one okay, if you execute this one you will see the phone name is John Dow okay the full name is John Dow so that one is the meaning of string copies and copy this one over right into full name the string cat is going to cut a uh, concatenate a, a, a string into another string and store into this string okay that's why you can concatenate last name into your phone name as well here but uh, make sure that um, you understand that it's going to override your first parameters here so it's going to override to your original variables here okay and the next um, method that we can um, demonstrate is about string length let's say um, uh, let's say we're going to print out or int length E is equal to string length of the full name okay from here you're gonna print out um, um, uh, the length of the full names is okay. the length of the full name is a digit here I'm gonna put another new line characters and that one is the length okay and the full name is actually now John Doe, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters, supposed to. So let's just test it. So if you run this one, you'll see. So um, the uh, length of the full name is eight characters, like we expected. Okay. From side of, um, so we already demonstrated the um, string function, like string cat, string um, copy string line and we're going to do some string compare okay we're going to do some string compare so we can compare two strings so int um, int um, um, result okay equal to int result equal to um, string um, compare string compare and you're going to compare between your first names okay first name and the last name and if result smaller than zero, you're going to display the printf. First string is smaller than the second string. Okay, create a new line. Sorry. Okay, this new uh, string is going to be an as. Um, else if you know, result equal to zero, we're going to display. Okay, printf. First string is 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 equal to um, um, a second string new line okay um, else if else you know, the one last case which is else okay you're gonna print out the um, first string is um, greater than um, the second string okay and inside here I'm missing an s here um, I would like to put a new line here as well so we are uh, comparing between um, first name and last name so um, let me see uh, there is a missing semicolon here so if you compare between the first name and last name you will see so um, uh, before uh, running this one one side how do how do computers you know, how do computers or how do C compilers compare between two strings so it's going to compare John Doe okay John Doe based on based on um, it's going to compare John Doe's based on ASCII table. Okay, and for ASCII table, you will see from here, um, John's. It's going to start comparing. It's 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 not. It's going to align from left. Okay, it's it's do left align here. So it's going to um, compare between first characters with second characters first. So J, J is um, inside ASCII table is appearing after D. So J is greater than D. So for sure, John Doe is greater than. Um, John is greater than Doe, which means if you compare between the first name and last name, first name and last name, um, the result is going to be greater than zero. So this one going to be phones, okay? It's not smaller than zero. This one will be phones because they are not equal. This one going to be true, okay? Because it's not smaller than, it's not um, equal. It is greater than. So this one going to be executed. So if you um, execute this one, you will see, okay? Um, um, this one. Door is greater than um, um it's missing something there oh okay um some warning here okay this one is um you're gonna put first name here and then put last names here okay this one you're gonna put first names here and you're gonna put last names here this one i'll put first name here and the last name here 
Okay, I was missing that one. First name is a place, um, um, is a value to be displayed in this place, and last name is a value to be display, displayed in this place correspondingly. So if you um, run this one now, you'll see. So um, um, the um, full name and the um, length is already explained in this one. You see, John is greater than Del. Okay, John is greater than Del. And one special point about comparison is um, um, how does this compare? If we see this one, okay, um, it's just like the behavior inside here. If you have one, two, three, okay, and like um, um, uh, uh, um, um, 54, okay, see, if, if it is two numbers, they are aligned on the right. They're aligned on the right. So they're going to compare from right characters, okay, this one. Okay, so they're going to um, align on the right, and, and um, 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 54, it seems like. Um, Zero here, okay. Thirty-four seems like zero thirty-four. So if you it's also compared from the left characters first, um, the the largest um, uh, characters first we use one with zero. This one is greater, but if it is a string, okay. If it is string one two three, okay, and thirty-four, okay, they're going to be aligned on the left. So they're going to um they're going to compare between one and three. So three is greater than one. So so thirty. 34 is 34 is larger than or greater than one two three. So this one is the difference between the two. Okay, this one is different between the two. Okay, let's just um, demonstrate this one. If you know um, string compare between um, 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 34 and another one is one two three. If it is greater than zero, if it's greater than zero, you're going to print out. Okay, 34 is greater than 1, 2, 3, you know, string format. So in order to um, display it as a string, we're going to do another slash, string, slash, string. Okay, this one is a slash and a string, um, double quote, slash, double quote. Okay, and this one will be executed. Okay, and this one will be executed. So if you run this one, you'll see. So 54 is greater than 1, 2, 3. And you need to remember that, okay? Uh, that um, the string is aligned on the left. So 33, uh, sorry, 34 is greater than 1, 2, 3. But if there are two numbers, 1, 2, 3 for sure is greater than 34. And, um, and how do they compare string again? They compare characters by characters. Just like comparing numbers, but they align on the left. And they use um, um, the order appearing inside ASCII table in order to compare. Okay, there is one more string, um, one more important string um, function that um, you should know, which is string characters, which is um, to point out the um, um, to to return a pointer to uh, a, specific, a specific characters inside a string. But um, for this one, we need some knowledge about pointer first. So um, I'm going to demonstrate about this when you um, learn about pointer in next sessions. Okay, so next session we're going to learn about pointer.